Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to pass vouchers or journal entries. I have already told you that in Tally, all you need to know is how to do the journal entries. Rest of the things like ledger accounts and your final accounts and all of the type of accounts will be done automatically. Okay. So in this video, I will show you how to create few a few voucher entries. Now there are a few voucher types. If you click on vouchers in transaction, let me show you again. Under transaction in vouchers, if you click on it. So here on the right hand side, you'll see the different types of voucher are there. These are called accounting voucher. Contra, payment, receipt, journal, sales, purchase and other vouchers. If you click on other vouchers, you'll see these are the accounting vouchers. Contra, credit note, debit note, journal, payment, purchase, receipt and sales. And we also have inventory vouchers, delivery note, physical stock, receipt note and stock journal. If you click on show inactive, you will see the list of all the voucher types in tally. See, so we have major heading of accounting voucher inventory voucher, order vouchers and payroll vouchers and under them these are the vouchers that are there okay you can go through them one by one we will do first the accounting vouchers all right so let's press escape and go back now here also one more thing you have to see is that when you're passing voucher you can change the mode from here from control h it can be passed in double entry mode as well as in single entry mode. Double entry means debit and credit will be there. And single entry means there won't be any debit and credit. Okay, let it be single entry. So first voucher that we will learn today is your receipt voucher or the shortcut key is F6. It's written here. Receipt voucher is used for all the cash and bank receipt. Okay, anytime you receive any cash or bank, you will receive, you will use the receipt voucher okay so suppose uh, let me show you first in the change mode in the double entry mode because you are more used to of journal entry okay so we have to and buy option so what we can do we can simply uh, assume that okay let's take an example uh, of uh, receipt of capital suppose owner this owner capital account that we have already created earlier in the ledger this owner has introduced capital to the business suppose 1 lakh rupees so how we will pass the journal entry for it will be cash account debit to owner's capital account okay so here two this is the credit one we'll select owner's capital and put the amount 1 lakh and buy is cash okay so there you go our journal entry is done under double entry system press enter you can write the narration here that being cash received as capital accept if you accept yes now you can see press ctrl g go to sorry switch switch to i want to go to alt g alt g for go to if i click on balance sheet here you will see Capital account is 1 lakh and current asset is 1 lakh. Current asset will be Alt F1 for detailed view. Cash in hand is 1 lakh and owner's capital account is 1 lakh. You can see, okay. So let's press escape and go back to the. So this is how we pass a receipt voucher in under double entry mode. Let me pass this under single entry mode let us suppose we have received capital again additional capital from this person okay so what we will do we'll press c select cash here we already have capital one lakh so in the particulars we'll write owner's capital suppose he is introducing fifty thousand extra okay so same way write the narration accept it Alt G. Now you check balance sheet. Alt F1 for detailed view. Now you'll see our capital has become one lakh fifty thousand. All right. So this is how you pass a received voucher. Similarly, we can also pass a payment voucher. Before that, we will do contra voucher. 
you know contra voucher is for what contra voucher is for all the banking and cash transaction when they come together we do bank and cash transaction together when you are withdrawing the money from bank or when you are depositing money to the bank then contra is used okay so So let me give an example. Suppose out of cash, we deposited maybe 50,000 to the SBI account. Okay. So what could be the entry? The entry will be SBI bank account debit to cash. So definitely cash will be credited. Suppose 50,000 is we are depositing in the bank to buy. Buy will should be bank. We have not created any bank account. So let us click here, create and create a bank account SBI bank account it will be under bank account it will be under bank account okay then you can give the account number any okay so it's asking me it must start with alphabet swift code also if you have give branch name give as things are not needed right now accept it so there you go our bank account has been created okay press escape this is your bank allocation screen here you accept if you have money you can give the donation uh, denomination also press accept it bank name sorry it's a specify bank name State Bank of India okay bank name has been specified and accepted yes it has been done so SBI account we have so now you can again call press alt G to go to and check the balance sheet alt F1 for detailed view now you shall see in the here under current asset we have cash in hand and bank account bank account 50 cash in hand 10,000 okay Let us suppose we are transferring some money from cash account to petty cash account. How that will be? Suppose we are transferring 500 rupees to petty cash account. So the entry will be petty cash account debit to cash. So let me do cash first. Suppose 500 rupees. I'm putting the petty cash. It's not SBI. It is petty cash that I have not created. So let me create one. Petty cash account. It's under petty cash only. These things are not there. Leave it right now. Oh, it's not bank. Sorry, it is cash account. Petty cash is cash account. Cash in hand. Okay. Drive the narration. Bring cash transfer to petty cash account. Accept. Yes. So now you can you can press Alt G and check the balance sheet. Alt F1 for detail view. So this is how it appears okay or G uh, ledger report let's see what payment advice ledger payroll nothing is here so leave it view ledger view vouchers these are the vouchers so okay fine okay so now we have seen how to pass voucher entry in receipt and bank account now let us see how to do that on bank i'm saying sorry contract account now we'll see how to do it on payment account okay payment voucher in payment voucher is used for every time you make a payment it can be in cash or it can be in bank account in checks also okay so let us let me pass an entry for payment suppose we paid salary so by the entry will be salary account debit to cash so but that by is debit salary we don't have so we have to create so we already have salary sorry so collect select this uh, salary suppose 1500 we are paying salary to cash account it's very simple 
set let us change the mode and go to single entry and suppose you are paying salary by bank salary suppose we pay 2000 by check it will give you this bank allocation screen and click write the instrument number date X, write the narration and accept it so we have paid salary so now we'll go alt g and we'll check the profit and loss account alt f1 for detail so we have paid salary account if you click on it we have 3500 total salary paid okay press escape so we have seen now how to pass uh, voucher entry in receipt voucher contra voucher and payment voucher okay rest of the voucher we will see them in the next video all right thank you